All right, just going to do a video quickly here answering Gene Kim. Uh, something he said about this ministry, not me, not naming me directly, but I know he's talking about. Um, I had remembered hearing about this thing. That a bunch of people sent me a link to this video about Gene Kim acting real wild and everything else, uh, like a lot of the Ruckmanite type of guys do. Uh, love and respect Peter Ruckman very much. I've defended him for years, um, but I am not at all for what they do down there and there. Or what they did down there, I guess, in their uh, church building thing is real crazy, radical, jumping around doing cartwheels and everything else. So we'll be talking about that in, in the upcoming sermon I'll be doing. But uh, I remembered seeing this, and I was going to use a video um, in the study coming up. And I know that he had done it at Andrew Sluter's uh, building there. So I came here and I thought, is maybe I can find it on his channel. And Andrew Sluter's 2.2 thousand subscribers. I'll explain why I said that, why I brought that up, but down through here, and um, yeah, Japanese McDonald's food review, <laughs> kind of reminds me of a Jason Singerling, but we won't go there, um, but uh, down here, Gene Kim on fire while preaching, and uh, click on that thing, and first of all, it says skip ad, I have an ad blocker on, so skip ad. Um, so in other words, Andrew Schluter, um has no problem taking money from Google, a secular source. I have a whole sermon on that. Okay, uh, it's wrong. You shouldn't be doing that. And of course, Gene Kim does the same thing as does Robert Breaker. Proven. That's why their channels grow. So Andrew Schluter, you know, with his 2.2 thousand subscribers, I'm sure it's going to start to grow really good, uh, especially if you start doing clickbait like Gene Kim does. But uh, you know, you go through here, and, and he starts getting wild, and they and they're, you know, yelling and screaming and everything, and, and he goes over and he's where's the thing at there? He goes over and he's he's fanning him. Let's show this. Fans him with his Bible because he's red hot there. Well, there's no pride there. Um, whatever. But I was you know looking for this video here, and I saw this thing. I thought maybe he has it on his channel because I thought there was something else where he was running around or doing whatever. And I thought I'll go to Gene Kim's channel and I saw this thing. And I thought, yeah, okay, this is clickbait obviously, but I'll listen to a little bit of it. And he gets this 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 guy, Gene Kim, is one of the most prideful little novices I've ever seen. Okay. I mean, the pride that this guy has. Anything goes wrong with Steven Anderson, it was because God judged him for Gene Kim's sake. And now I'm getting judged apparently because I spoke against Gene Kim in the past. Because I pointed out the fact that Gene Kim believes in multiple gods. Actually uses a passage that's talking about, you know, pagan gods in the Old Testament to refer to there being more than one God with the Trinity. Um, and I'll put the link at the end of the video so you can see it and judge for yourself. But um, listen to what he says here. People who watch me for years know that. Especially in our blowout videos, I befriend and I have connections with a lot of Bible-believing pastors. And I ask some correct me as well, and I follow advice. Unlike some YouTube rogues who want to do their own thing. Unlike some YouTube rogues who want to do their own thing. Um, I have been part of Baptist churches. And again, I'm 40, going to be 45 years old here in just about a week or so. Um, I'm not a novice like you. Jane Kim. Okay, I am actually married and I have a child. Okay, and, uh, you call yourself pastor at the beginning. That's not in the King James Bible. It's a description. It's never given as a title. Right? And uh, the, the one who taught me that actually years ago was a graduate of PBI, John Kodabash. Okay, some growing up to do. Some of them, actually, uh, the Lord judged them, and another one of the people who attacked me and then made fun of our channel, Real Bible Believers, the person just went through yesterday, lost some of his close followers, actually, and friends. So, the Lord's taking care of me. <laughs> so, you know... Uh, you know, he got he made fun of me and things. Yeah, because you you claim yourself you're real Bible believers here. Uh, then why are you monetized first and foremost? That's a big problem. That's sin. 
taking money from the lost world to preach the Bible. Chapter and verse on that one, please. But uh, he was judged yesterday. Well, let's see here. June 20th of 2020. Um, yesterday, June 19th of 2020, I'm talking about the conspiracy. More of the brethren are busy stabbing me in the back. Yeah, because I preached against their sin and they couldn't handle it and they left. Okay, um, now let me just show you a verse of scripture here. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 14. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. Of whom be thou aware also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. Well, I guess according to um, Gene Kim here, uh, God actually judged Paul because a man did evil to him. Because, you know, you just go through life as a, as a preacher and you never get attacked, never get put down or anything else. And if people leave you, then that proves that God's judging you, according to Gene Kim. Verse 16, at my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may, may not be laid to their charge, notwithstanding the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear, and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. Um, and you go through the Pauline epistles. Paul's being attacked all the time by the people that he once led to the Lord. He's writing letters and saying, who hath bewitched you that you should not obey the truth, you know. I marvel that you're so soon removed, you know, from the gospel of Christ. It, it, over and over and over again, people are forsaking Paul. That doesn't mean there, Gene, that, uh, you know, mean Gene. <laughs> that doesn't mean that God is somehow uh, rebuking me for being a renegade uh, preacher or something. Okay, you have a lot of growing up to do. Okay, see, see what's happening right now with you and Sluter and Breaker and everything else. You have fake ministries that you're putting out. And you guys, you, you put out some truth that you learned from Ruckman. Okay, fine. I'm just going to say that. Absolutely. But what you're doing to get known is you're monetizing. And you're getting the lost world to promote what you do. That's sin. Plain and simple, it's sin. You need to repent of it. Lower your pride and repent of it. I'm an older man. I think Breaker might be older than me, but not by much. But these guys, they're getting hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I've been on YouTube for a very long time, since 2008, November of 2008. For a very, very long time. getting Heading towards 12 years that I've been on YouTube. And I've been kicked and attacked and all kinds of things. And these guys are on and their channels are being promoted while my channel is being attacked. And my subscriber counts are being taken down. My video views are taken down by YouTube. And they get uh, these guys will get upset because, you know, one of my videos was demonetized or something. So I've been persecuted. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I, I just thought I'd check this out because this is one of my favorite places to go for. Uh, I apologize for the language up in here if you're looking at that. Because um, they're just with wicked atheists or actually I think papists really. Um, but this here is Wikipedia. This is one of my good sources to go to for Intel. I go here a lot. And I check, okay, what are they writing and, and whatever else, you know, because I, I know when they write against certain things and that means I'm hitting the target. So I've learned how to understand intelligence gathering and things. My wife taught me a lot of that being former military intelligence herself. So there's different ways that you can get Intel. But um, if you my this article here attacking me and actually defending the Dewey Reams and church fathers and things written by atheists supposedly yeah I don't think so but if you go to print give it a minute here it takes a little bit of time because there's so many pages on me um, 55 pages right down there one out of 55 or you know this is the first page 55 pages on me okay and just to put that in perspective Pope We'll do over here, Pope Francis. Okay, is Pope Francis on Rational Wiki? This website for atheists, you know? Uh, yeah, he is. But look at this. Um, to his credit, he has prioritized economic justice and sustainability from his pulpit in a way that few modern popes have. So they're actually saying good things about him? <laughs> okay. And uh, get down to print. How many pages are on Pope Francis? I mean, you'd think a guy that's leading a billion you know, people, there'd be a lot more on him than me. I mean, I have 35,000 subscribers. 
35,500 I think it is now. Yeah, going strong. Seven pages on the Pope. I'm more of a threat to atheism than the Pope of Rome? The man that politicians come to and bow down to? And I'm a bigger threat? They write 55 pages on me? Little problem there. Um, yeah. How about uh, Stephen Anderson? Because certainly, I mean, he comes out with all of his, you know, stuff against sodomites and whatever else. Let's check out how many pages they have on him. I did this before, just, uh, it was just interesting. Eight pages on Stephen Anderson. Gets worldwide press attention. Uh, his subscriber base is, what, 150,000 or something like that? And yet, he has eight pages. I have 55. Hmm. But let's, uh, let's see about um, Gene Kim. Because, I mean, hey, he's a, he's a Ph.D., you know, and everything else. Um, I mean, he's uh, not on Rational Wiki. <clears throat> he's not even mentioned. His name doesn't even appear. So I find that kind of weird. A big, well-established uh, atheist website and Gene Kim, Dr. Gene Kim, um, he's such a threat to them that they don't even mention his name. Weird. What about Robert Breaker? Um, there they uh, actually quote uh, stuff about Robert Breaker um, on the article about me. So Robert Breaker's there, but it's just they're actually defending him and the article attacking me. And they, they also quote, you know, put him in there with uh, the King James Only movement, which Gene Kim isn't even mentioned on that page. So uh, it's kind of a weird thing that uh, Gene Kim here is not even a threat to the atheist movement. But um, to, to just end this video, uh, you guys like Gene Kim, Andrew Schluter, Robert Breaker, uh, you guys are playing fake right now. All right. Saved or lost, whatever, doesn't even matter. Doesn't enter into this conversation right now. You guys are faking out people out there. All right. And if you are the real deal, the day is going to come when you get attacked by the lost world. When people cast out your name as evil. I've been going through this for a long time. And I can tell you right now, uh, most of you aren't going to be able to take it. You won't. So, um, yeah, Gene Kim, um, with your little thing there, the road preacher, you won't name me because you're too big of a coward and whatever. Oh, that's right, I want attention. I'm just looking to steal subscribers. And all your little followers will come over and start attacking me and everything else. You're just jealous of him. And it. It's like you people think that this is the first time for me or something, you know, that, that this I've never been attacked this way or something, and I've never heard your arguments. Uh, I've been around for a while, okay, and I was, you know, very big in the Bible believing movement way back in the early days of YouTube. Um, we had a Bible believers group, and I was the president of it, and most of the bigger channels that were around back then were there and were supportive of me being the president of the Bible believing group, and you guys weren't even there. So, um, YouTube is a dirty, wicked, filthy cesspool of garbage, and it's you know it's very hard to have a public ministry here and whatever else. And when you do have a real public ministry, you get attacked like crazy, and people stab you in the back like what happened to Paul. That's not God's judgment on me, there, Gene. Um, but you know, YouTube is a place where we can try to get the truth out to people, but to take money from them, it's not good. Uh, you're a man pleaser. So, whatever. Um, just thought I'd bring that out. Uh, you need to grow up, Gene Kim. Um, me having people leave the ministry here, so my close friend stabbing me in the back, happened to Paul. Uh, and I, I think it happened to Jesus Christ as well. So, not a very good argument. 